Hello everyone, I just made a gaming bot using Python to play the Google's T-Rex game. And I thought, why not share with it to you all, so that you can make it on your own. Let me show you how it works. Change directory, desktop, then Python, T-Rex, so before going on to the programming part let me tell you what's the logic behind this so we capture the screenshot first then we write a logical code that if anything appears we don't capture the whole screen we just only keep a capture a picture around here okay and we write a code such that if anything appears on the screen either in the white color which is the background of the image press the upward key or the down key for the bird which comes from later in this game so to make this you will first need to install python on your computer you can do this by going to python dot or simply type search python 3.6 I'm using 3.6 so I'm showing you like this Python 3.6 download Python releases Python and you can download anyone which one is appropriate for your system I'm using Windows so I have downloaded this one Windows X FT6 64 executable installer easy to install after that install install that and after installing press windows x and open windows powershell in admin mode okay first check if you have correctly installed the python or not just by naming python if anything of this kind appears on the screen it means you have successfully installed your python now we will need a bunch of li libraries libraries to capture the screenshot libraries to press the keys of the keyboard so install them first of all you need numpy library named numpy to install that type first we need to quit from inside the python type in sorry python my m pip install upgrade numpy so n u m p y numpy Yes, you will need an internet connection for this. As I have already downloaded it, it is showing the requirement already applicable. For yours, you can download something and install it on your own. After that, you will need library named MSS for capturing screenshot. Just similar to the previous one, just delete numpy and write MSS. After that, you will need PIL, Python image library. Download it by writing below P -A -L -L -O -W. fourth one is OpenCV it's optional but just download it open sorry OpenCV dash python enter it and um, sorry I don't need it as it shows here you can download it after that another library for pressing the key giving the inputs pressing the keys is pi Auto GUI. Mm, I have it. Okay, so these are the only prerequisites for writing the code. So this is the code which runs the game or the robot code. Let me explain to you line by line what is going on here. First, we are importing the NMP library and we will be using it by the name NP. Import the OpenCV library by writing import OpenCV. After import the MSS library from, from the MSS library, import MSS, all the same. Then from the PIL library, import image. This helps in capturing the screenshot. And also import the PI auto GUI library. Now, in this mon shortly for monitor, we store or uh, we set 
our area of interest the screen portion which will will be monitoring okay so from the description down below open the github link and download this mouse post.exe down there you will have this little application small but very helpful which tells us the position of the pixel at which the mouse cursor is pointing required so we only need to capture or monitor this portion of the screen only this much observing the whole screen is not required so logic behind is that whenever something this something may be the cactus or the bird which comes on later in the game appears on this portion of the screen press the appropriate key press up or press down down for the kingdom bird so we here set in this monitor variable the means the data which will capture the screen now in this top position we set the starting pixel and its position from the top observe this value at the top it says 0 and we need to observe the pixel from around here a little bit above the head of this t-rex at around 389 for me i observed it 389 to get a little bit if it doesn't work for you and from the left i have used 175 175 at around here it's here okay so down here this is our starting pixel and then we set the size of the image which we are capturing for from this pixel the width of this image is 98 for suppose from this 175 we are going uh, all around to 98 175 plus 98 is 273 so at around here so this is the width of the image or screenshot we are capturing we are not capturing the whole screen and the height of the image will be 40 I have done it 40 bigger screenshot will simply make our code run slower ok this is the setting the area of the interest on the screen let's get equal to 1 I will explain it to you later on now the loop this loop is where all the magic happens now for capturing the screenshot of that person we use mss.grab.monitor which gives all the parameters for capturing the screen and we store it in the img variable after that we need to convert this image variable into np array and same as the same image img uh, we convert into np array because we will need it now this line only just displays the portion of the screen we are capturing now we need to access the pixel values each pixel has three values one for the blue color only there are three primary colors in a pixel blue green and red monitoring just one color will do for us so here in this p dash cal sort for calculus calculus sorry cactus we are storing the value of only the blue pixel the zero here is for blue one for green and two for red anyone will do i have been using just the blue color so at the 20th position 28th is the y value so from the our initial or the starting pixel down to 28 from there we are starting all the values along the x direction of the blue pixel in this pi cap all the values in the this direction of, the, of a single pixel line similarly a little bit above p bird it will be since the bird will appear a little bit above the cactuses the story the same from the starting pixel just one below and all the values in the x line in the x direction we are considering towards left the x direction similarly the blue pixel okay now we will sum the all values of all the blue or sum the values of blue color on the pixels in this 
variable by using np dot sum theta. Similarly for the bar, and we will print the value of this sum. What we will do? Suppose the value of the blue color during the whole that screenshot part being white is 247. Okay, and when the gray color appears, one or two or many pixels will have gray color in them, and the blue value of the blue color in the gray pixel will be lesser than 247. So our average, our sum of the total blues will be less than this when that then was only the white color so this is the logic so for me the sum of all the blue pixels when everything being white on the screen was 24108 so when the value of this sum goes below 24108 or we can say it otherwise if any color other than the white color appears on the screen what can be done how can that happen either the bird appears or since the pi calc is calculating in the x direction below where the only the cactuses appears, this only means that when the cactus appears, press the up arrow key. Just press it. When you have to hold it, dot press, pi to gui dot press, presses the up button. Similarly, in the bird line, if the values goes below, press and hold. Key down does that. Does what? It presses and hold. Simply just pressing the key for an install which will not touch the bird we need to hold it for something very small thing. so key dot down holds it and it will keep on holding it until we here we say key up release the up key we are just printing the values of the p bird variable and the p bird sum so going into this loop for once puts the value of the k to 1 it indicates that we have pressed down the key so don't now sorry again when the screen turns white in the position uh, at the position of the bird and we have and press the down key duck key release the duck key and set the key one to zero so leave it leave the key part and this does that if we want to quit, quit the code just press Q and it will close on the windows stop the code from running and the bot stops break loop stops okay I hope you got in what I have said okay write this on your own or just download it from the link given below the github link save it control S you can save it using notepad just suppose copy the code from the github copy make a new file txt name anything i name it t dot you have to name it python extension py dot py control v okay control v will copy paste save control s will save it close it now let's test it windows x no we don't need to write it in um, uh, admin mode anymore windows powershell i am in my user directory i need to change this to desktop since my file is in desktop desktop to run the file type in python then the name of the file t.py sorry carnival file not such file or directory we have it man what are speaking about t dot p y wow what is this sorry do one thing download this notepad plus plus very useful for writing code 
Okay. new file here. Control V, paste, and save as trx1.py. Yeah, now we have it. So again, put all the screens in the position. We don't need it anymore. And type in Python trx.py. What is this? Okay. So guys, you can see here the sum for my case appears to be 24108 you can write the same code I what which I have given you here and if it enters something different you can just go in there and change the values here this this and this okay okay let's get to this top out run what just happened Stop the board, press Q. If it doesn't work, press Ctrl C. Run it again. Yeah, that's the window we can see there. We don't need anything. Anymore. Yeah, it's working. It's working. Let's see what's the high score we are taking. Can it make up 1000? Let's see. Mm, 200 <laughs> 500 500 go for the worst then for the best i think we will easily in 500 i have done anyway. mm. let me show you one thing saying these values 164139 all these are less than 24108 these are the values when the gray color appears on the screen the value of some pixels the value of the blue color in some pixels goes below the value oh, no, 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 for the white color and so that's how our code works and the script again press here sit and we have to start it all again Hey man, what is this? I think we need to shift the screenshot window a little bit towards the left. Jumping to order. Haha. It will work. So, make your own one. Tell me how what's the high score you attained? Any doubts and comments? Leave them below. Like it if you liked it. Subscribe if you want more such videos. And there are many good videos I have. Okay, good or not, you decide. Many interesting videos you can see on my channel. And if you want the tutorial on any one of them, just comment down below. Thank you for watching.